I'm going to take these clips off. Some of these are tarnished more than others. Just using some large needle nose pliers. Let's get it in there. Take one side off, then the other side comes out. I got a mixture of 50% cleaning vinegar, water, and salt. And I'm just going to let these soak. I do have some deep uh, scratches right where the clips go. And using a Dremel tool with various bits, I'm going to see if I can uh, remove that. Yeah, I'm going to test something more aggressive on there. Okay, I got that sanded down as far as I can go. It's pitted up, but all the other ones turned out good. The sticker has just seen better days, and it's just peeling off. Sticker removed, got all the adhesive off. Had the clip soaking in this vinegar water overnight. And they got like a black tint on them. So I got a wire brush and I'm going to brush off this black material. Now I'm going to take a Scotch Brite. Now I'm going to be using Mother's May polish with a Dremel tool and like a cotton bit. I'm going to buff it out. Okay, I just polished it twice and looks like it's uh, chrome plated. I got all the hold downs polished and cleaned up and I'm going to mount them now. This is what it looks like after the purple scotch bright. There's some scratches in there I just don't like and it's a little dull. I'm just going to water sand it in increments until I get to 2000, then I'll buff it out. I got to sand it down in increments all the way to 2500. So I should be able to buff that out. I'm going to be using this turtle wax rubbing compound. This is what it looks like after the rubbing compound. There are some tiny scratches in there, but for the most part, it looks really good. And now I'm going to add the Mother's Mag. I just polished it by hand twice. Got a lot of black stuff off. It's shiny and there's no blotches. That's good. There are some scratches in here, but I use this thing as a tool bench anyway. So I'm working on my car, so it's going to get scratched up. Well, there it is. It's done. Shiny. As long as I got the air box off, I can get to all this linkage. I'm going to be using this uh, engine degreaser with a brush and get all the gunk out of there. I got all the joints clean. Now I'm going over it with a little bit of WD-40 to get any moisture out of there. I'm using automatic transmission fluid in a syringe. And I just bent the tip over. It's easier to get around stuff. Put quite a bit in there. And then just work it around. I got everything cleaned up and oiled. This one goes underneath the air cleaner. And it's a little tough to get to. Also the smaller hose has a tendency to pop out. To get the rear hose in, I got to angle the box up. And then with two hands, connect those two together. Got the air filter in. And now I'm going to tighten up the 10 millimeters on each side. You can kind of hear them stop. Like that. These have a nice solid click to them. I got two hoses to hook up. There. This one up here. Looks a little shinier than I wanted, but those clips look really good. All right, 